tell me, do you know when, where Morse was born or where, when he came here? Yeah, well, um, uh, it, 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 in the records when he was born, uh, he came here somewhere around 1903, mm -hmm. maybe 1904, I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> do we know why he came? Uh, well, I, you know, I had, uh, my father had three aunts, the three sisters, mm -hmm. my three aunts, and uh, they all had a story about Morris, why he came, and they were all different. What were the different stories? And, well, I know two of them. Uh, uh, one of them was, so he, when he came in uh, around 1903, mm -hmm. uh, was a period where uh uh, in Kishinev and Moldova, there were some major pogroms. Uh, you know what a pogrom is. Mm -hmm. okay. and, uh, and so the conjecture is, is that he left there to escape mm -hmm. uh, the uh, depression that, uh, that was going on there. That was one story. What was the other story? Uh, the other story is that um, he... Uh, was in the Russian army mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that he was afraid of being conscripted again. I guess he was in not active service mm -hmm. at the time and he didn't want to uh, go back into the army and so he uh, left Moldova and came to the United States. Do you remember him, Morris? Do I remember him? Do you ever meet him? Um, I did meet him, but he passed away when I was like three years old. Okay, so, do you know, did, did your mother tell you anything about it? Or did your or did your father tell you anything? What do you well, know about Morris's personality or what he did or his work uh, or anything? I don't, uh, mostly what I know about him, which is very little, <clears throat> well, that's not true, uh, is uh, mostly through uh, my Aunt Alice, <clears throat> who told a lot of stories. Uh, Alice was the last one to leave the household mm -hmm. <clears throat> since she uh, was not married and the uh, Eve and uh, Dora and she was the youngest uh, uh, and she was the uh, Alice was the youngest anyway so stories are uh, that um, uh, let's see um, uh, number one that he uh, owned a pushcart business in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. uh, you've seen pictures of the Lower East Side mm -hmm. of Manhattan uh, <clears throat> with all the immigrants and uh, street scenes with uh, <clears throat> push carts, uh, people, uh, guys pushing push carts, selling Mary's things. Well, they, those, pe those vendors uh, didn't own the push carts, they rented them. <clears throat> and uh, Morris owned a warehouse uh, full of those push carts and his business was to rent the push carts to the street vendors and uh, and apparently that did very well until the depression came and he lost everything. Uh, Do you know how he became well off enough to be able to own that business? Uh, he was I guess fairly well off. They owned a uh, uh, a nice house in uh, Brooklyn. I don't know where. But do you uh, think he came with money when he came to the no, United States? No, I doubt. Very Nobody came with, came with money. Yeah, they all came. So with, do you think he, you think he, the whole business in the house was all because of self-made? Yeah, I think so. He yeah. he he was able to, to make that happen himself. Yeah. Do you think he had any help? Any any was there any family that sponsored him or? Not that I know of. I think he. I think he. I know of one person he did sponsor. Uh, and he may have sponsored others, I don't know. But uh, as far as I know, <coughs> uh, he, he, nobody sponsored him. Who did he sponsor? Uh, that, that fellow, Alexand 